Hey everyone, this is Aegis, and this is the fourth game between UMBC and UC Riverside, and here is GN, the Teal Protoss, spawning on Lost Temple against his opponent Nurzel, playing as the uh, uh, blue Terran player, uh, spawning over here for UMBC. If Nurzel can win this game, UMBC will take the series 3-1. However, if GN is able to win this game, uh, UC Riverside will stay in it and be able to take it to the ace match. We'll see if uh, who's able to take this game. Nurzel looking to take revenge for the last game. And we're on the APM tab. It does look like GN is feeling the pressure, bumping his APM a little bit higher. Uh, Nurzel a little bit more relaxed. Uh, we saw uh, GN uh, sh giving a shout out to a couple of other casters who were casting this during the Collegiate Master Star League, uh, which I will be uh, posting some games to. Uh, in this uh, higher quality here real soon um, and uh, Shadow uh, pointing out uh, the spectators that uh, I was also casting it. Check out my channel at Aegis Starcraft 2 on YouTube and again this was a Collegiate Star League game so check out the Collegiate Star League at cstarleague.com as well as uh, their uh, Facebook page uh, just search Collegiate Star League uh, both players getting their uh, first uh, buildings inside their base. Always great to see that there's no cheese on the way. Going to see a nice a long game, hopefully. Uh, Nurzel grabbing his gas. Uh, going to be going for probably, I don't know, something. Uh, we'll see how quickly he grabs the second gas. That'll be indicative of what exactly he is going. Uh, Gian scouting over here, not quite seeing his uh, opponent, uh, Nurzel. So he's going to back out and uh, scout somewhere else. Uh, recently, there was a patch released to this map, um, making this a flat area and uh, adding some rocks over here. Not quite mu a big fan of that, especially if you fought, spawn in uh, close positions now. Uh, Nurzel getting his uh, orbital command up, and it does look like GN will finally scout him over here. Nurzel also scouting in the wrong direction. Going to be scouting him real soon. Uh, next stop, says the SCV. Jian is getting his gas up as well as the cybernetics core on the way. The first marine out now, uh, gonna be able to deny the probe from scouting into the base. Uh, gonna grab the tech lab on the first uh, barracks, and uh, more SCVs coming out. Always good, uh, rallying his SCVs back from building uh, buildings. SCV gonna scout up here. See the cybernetics core. Not much to see over here. Uh, GN now chrono boosting the stalker as well as the warp gate research and that probe uh, gonna steal a mouthful of gold minerals uh, interesting play there gonna uh, make up for the lost time mining by grabbing some uh, gold minerals uh, the SCV is getting chased around here does want try to see what's up and see what tech pattern uh, GN does decide to go for it, but that stalker will be able to deny the scouting taking that SCV out it's smoldering remains in the mineral line. Barracks now coming up for uh, Nurzel and is now also finishing up the concussive shells upgrade for his marauders. Additional marauders spawning uh, right now. Jian is now grabbing his expansion nexus. Uh, Nurzel, if he scouts this early, he could try to do some massive early damage. Or he could uh, expand himself and try to win in the macro game. GN grabbing his uh, second gateway now. Gonna want to get that uh, gateway production up as soon as that uh, nexus is about halfway, I think. Uh, yeah, he needs to throw down additional gateways to be able to hold against that. Uh, it does look like Nurzel is grabbing his own expansion rather early as well. Now getting a reactor on his second barracks. Uh, more Marauders coming out. No Stim upgrade just yet, but should be getting that. So yeah, there we go. Stim pack being researched. It does look like the Stalkers are fanning out. Going to check for any proxies. Uh, this one Reaper here is uh, getting uh, smashed in the face by that Stalker. Going to run up here. Going to escape that one uh, Stalker. Going to run over here and see what it can find out. Um, however, it is uh, getting a shot in the face by that one Stalker. Uh, <laughs> Not surviving as long as I had hoped. That's why I was following it. Um, so, Stalker is quite happy to be able to get rid of the nuisances to the probes. There he is, that one Stalker with the one kill. Gonna be proudly moving over to his allies. Uh, this, this one Stalker feeling left out, not getting to kill anything as of yet. More sentries coming out for Gian. 
Uh, it does look like Nurzel's command center is now complete. We'll be flying out to the natural expansion immediately. Uh, not waiting to transform that into an orbital command at all. Uh, transferring some SCVs immediately as well. More zealots uh, spawning here. GN getting additional probes. Uh, more uh, robotics facility coming up. Interesting, not mass, but gateway play. Uh, instead, just gonna go straight for that tech. Gonna get an uh, observer out just in case of any banshees. Um, he doesn't know that. Uh, I th well, he doesn't know that there's no gas there as of this point, but. Uh, if he had stolen it, it would have been more indicative, but that probe did just now see a bunch of marines and marauders So it doesn't know exactly what's going on that one SCV being grouped with the army and not too happy about that Probably Jian looks like he's gonna advance forward with uh, three soccer's uh, three of each uh, uh, Unit a 1-1-1 one, one, one composition of uh, units of gateway units as well as the one observer uh, one to one ratio. Uh, actually, never mind. It screwed that up. There are uh, four zealots. Whoops. It does look like the observer sees the army moving out. Is gonna back out of there as soon as possible. Gonna reinforce that with one stalker. Nurzel is now moving to a uh, GN's uh, base. It does look like this army is gonna park over here. Maybe we'll go for some sort of sandwich um, uh, motion as Nurzel makes this area here. It does look like the army is now moving back. This sees Nurzel's army, that one Zala over here, gonna be able to throw down a bunch of force fields, uh, gonna trap a couple of marauders on this side, as well as pick off the reinforcing units. Nurzel's uh, units stimming up, gonna take out a Zala there. Uh, Jian gonna back his army up over here, another sim going down, gonna chase after this army. The sentry is getting taken out, no more force fields being used. Does look like Jian is gonna lose the, va lose the vast majority of this army gonna put him a little bit behind in terms of units lost Nurzel is uh, might be trying to push it nope not gonna keep pushing he's gonna take that and uh, be fine with it gonna throw down a engineering bay gonna go for the long term of the game gonna pull his forces back into the center of the map observer poking around to see what can, it can do and finally getting some tech up the factory on the way uh, immortals spawning as well as the uh, weapons plus one upgrade where is that there we go uh, Colossus will soon be on the way as well no doubt there's the first Colossus coming out probably gonna try to get that thermal lance upgrade as well more, more units spawning for Nurzel gonna stick with the marine marauder composition uh, that one observer still checking out what's going on and it does look like Nurzel is going to be going for those medevacs. Definitely want those for his uh, marines and marauders. Uh, the starport going to definitely swap over to this uh, factory and get those uh, medevacs out. And it does also leave the capacity to get those vikings in case of mass colossus play, which we might be seeing real soon. The first colossus is about to spawn. And GN is chrono boosting out the extended thermal lance upgrade. Um, this is going to be quite good against this Marine Marauder Ball. Even with the Immortal in the mix, and warping in additional Zealots and Sentries into his mix, uh, Nurzel is going to continue to do exactly what he's been doing. Marine Marauder going to get the Infantry plus one upgrade and swapping the uh, Starport over and getting those two Medivacs. At, and the Tech Labs continue to come up on the uh, Barracks over here as well. Proxy pile and warping in for uh, GN over here. Going to be able to warp in units to do flanking action or uh, for harassment later on. Another probe over here poking around. Going to make sure that nothing is going on over there. Uh, GN moving his army into the center. Probably going to go for the rocks now. Yeah, going to take that out a little bit earlier uh, so that he can expand it very easily. He's gathering up the money as well, so he may be going for that real soon. Uh, Chronobu is going on the forge uh, on nothing. But that's okay. The two medevacs now spawning and coming to the front. Going to heal up the marines and marauders. Additional starports coming up for Nurzel. An idle SCV for him as well. He might want to think about expanding soon as well. Because he is running out in the main. Yeah, there we go. There's the expansion command center going down. It does look like GN is going to be a little bit behind in terms of that expansion timing. Uh, Nurzel is going to be a little bit ahead. Um... Maybe he's going to go for some other tech pattern after getting his third base. Vikings now spawning, no doubt. He knows about those Colossus. 
Uh, two Colossus on the field now, uh, another Colossus on the way, as well as the charge for the uh, Zealots. And plus two weapons also being researched right now. A probe waiting over here, waiting for enough minerals to start the expansion. Nurzel's expansion is already halfway, going to be able to uh, morph that into an orbital command and get additional income. Nurzel looking like he's in a very good position right now. Uh, he's using these to produce additional Vikings to deal with the Colossus. He should be uh, quite a ways ahead, actually. Additional SCVs being spawned as well. Uh, no longer continuing the upgrades, he could probably get the uh, infantry uh, weapons plus one. He's got his gas is getting a little bit high, uh, probably because of the expansion that just went down. Is about to finish. Gian also getting his expansion. Gian's macro is looking quite a bit better than Nurzel's actually. F uh, 500 minerals and 800 gas. Uh, not a good position to be in, especially if you're not max. Uh, Jan with a slightly smaller army size, additional units spawning right now to reinforce that. Uh, a scan going down, going to be able to see the vast majority of that army. Uh, however, the scan does give away to Jan that he uh, Nurzel is about to attack. The Vikings uh, flying overhead, going to be able to do some damage against the uh, Colossus. Getting a good spread out right now, Jan's going to use his uh, Zealots to the full advantage. Zealots now charging forward, a stim going down. Does look like a major confrontation now to the uh, Vikings now working on the Colossus. Four Colossus in the count right now. Does look like it's chewing through Nurzel's army uh, because of the plus one upgrade, I guess. Uh, the Zealots also doing great amounts of damage charging forward. And the plus two upgrade is going to finish as well, making this army even that much more stronger. Nurzel is going to have to pull back all the way to his base. Uh, he has landed his expansion, uh, but uh, is on. Uh, not, probably won't be able to hold that if Perthos decides to push on that. Four seals going down, not quite able to trap any units. Uh, Gian gonna wall that off completely and go for this expansion. The Planetary Fortress gonna take a couple of shots off, uh, but is uh, unable to... Oh, there we go, the repair. It did kill one I, one thing. I thought that was gonna go down uh, because Nurzel had not reacted uh, with the repair. It does look like Gian is gonna sit back a little bit uh, while Nurzel macros his army back up, it does look like the army count is now 146 to around 100, 105. Uh, the two Col uh, four Colossus horse is going to poke down here. Uh, not sure why. Don't want to get those two uh, split off too much. Otherwise, they'll get sniped. The Colossus is going to move over here. Clever. Going to start shooting at those SCVs mining. Going to deny mining at the gold expansion. Nurzel is not going to be happy about that. Going to be backing some Colossus up to the main army as well. Nurzel continuing to pump out the Marine Marauder. Additional barracks going down to help spend that money. Uh, however, that might be a little bit too late as we see in the army tab. His Protoss opponent is quite a bit ahead as well as in upgrades too. It's 2-1 to Nurzel's... Uh, 1-0, so it does look like the Colossus will be doing tons of damage, cutting through, ripping those uh, Marines and the Marauders to shreds. Uh, Vikings now engaging the Colossus, and the Stalkers moving forward, going to be chewing through that Terran army so easily, the burning wreckage on the ground, all the Marauders exploding and dying. It does look like uh, Nurzel is backing to his natural, going to be pulling off his SCVs to fight as well, a Force Field going off. Gonna be walling the Terran army in the Colossus. They're gonna be able to take uh, some sort of high ground. Getting taken out by all of the Vikings. But uh, does it matter? All of the um, Stalkers are just pounding away. GG calls Nurzel. And it does look like we're going to an ace match. Uh, GN is able to pull it off for UC Riverside. Uh, great uh, uh, use of his Colossus. As well as great timing for his attacks. Uh, and we will be seeing a game... Uh, Five, which is the ace match again this is the collegiate star league check out the collegiate star league at c star league .com. this is aegis signing off